Crotalus viridis hilari is known by many names, such as the Southern Pacific rattlesnake, the most common one you'll see on museum placards, such as this one. The black diamond rattlesnake, you can see has a purple shiny tongue. That's a more light color towards the back. It's very interesting. But the patterns are striking, although the coloration is somewhat subdued in this specimen. It's almost like everything's in black and white except for the tongue. You can see the musculature contract and expand and the scales move as it slithers along in this 4K resolution that I recorded in. It's a um, beautiful animal. Um, I've never actually encountered one on a hike, a grown one. I've only seen babies basking in the sun. There's a little rattle. You can see the placard over there with a name and scientific name on it. So they're in Southern California as well as Baja California in Mexico. There are other names, as I was saying, the Black Diamond Rattler, the Gray Diamondback, Mountain Rattler, Pacific Rattler, San Diegan Rattler, and for whatever reason in the world, some people call it the Green Rattlesnake, although I can't see why. It has a highly toxic venom. It's uh, considered one of the pit vipers that is much like Mojave toxin in the way that it attacks nerve endings. It contains myotoxins and hemotoxins and can easily give a fatal bite. The venom from this snake also requires a much higher dose of crofab, an antivenin used to treat the bite of North American pit vipers. Many people like to compare getting bit by a rattlesnake or stung by a scorpion to something ridiculous such as getting struck by lightning. They also do this with terrorism or the chance of getting Ebola. I think that's asinine. You know, there are many different behaviors that each person can do that makes them more prone or less likely to be attacked by a rattlesnake or, you know, blown up by a terrorist. If you hang out in big cities, you know, your chances are much higher than somebody who never goes, etc. Likewise, I have very sharp eyes, so I think I would have noticed an adult rattlesnake or heard one if I had walked within a foot of one as the video in the background that I muted was playing on loop over and over again. You know, they make it sound like everyone's chances are the same, but you know, some people just blunder into things and other people don't. I've only seen little baby rattlers basking in the sun.